Hello, all you space engineers out there. Commander Kingfish here, and we are back. It is day 10 here on the rock. And uh, a couple of uh, things before I get really started here. You'll see that the buggy is connected to the tether. I figured that out. I think when, <laughs> when I did my little fiasco of bringing down the tower, uh, and it broke it uh, broke the connection well it didn't actually break the connection the buggy still thought it was connected to the base and even when I took that long trip off to the ice lake and back uh, it was still charging it was uh, not uh, uh, losing power so that was just a glitch in the mod itself uh, once I uh, restarted, then everything was fine with that. The other thing is, I think uh, when I ended the last episode, I had found an iron field. And that was basically it. I actually ended up finding a nickel field as well. I think I still have them both on. Yeah, you can see them right there. There's the nickel field uh, real close to the iron field. But that was it. That's 10 kilometers away, and it's going to be a challenge to get to that. Uh, today, I want to... Uh, well, first thing I'm going to do is put up some base lights. At least some, some lighting around here so that we can kind of see what, what's what. So I think what I want to do with that is... Uh, Let's get an open block here. Let's go G. I think I want to uh, use the neon. Oh, well, I need aluminum plates for that. Uh, I guess we're not going to use that. Uh, let's use a ladder. That takes aluminum plates. Everything takes aluminum plates. Well, we have some aluminum plates. So let's do it this way. Let's grab a few aluminum plates. I'm not going to put that much up. And we'll get more from uh, our unknown drops. So let's get a couple of those like that. And let's start by... Uh, let me hop up here. Uh, let me get some girders. And we'll just put a few more... Uh, base blocks down. Go over here, get some girders. Ah, inventory. Let's grab about... Uh, oh, let's grab about 20 of those. And let's... Uh, let's do this. I keep saying we were going to put more lights on the base, and I just keep forgetting about it. So this will this will help. We'll get uh, a couple of more lights. We'll just kind of get these out here so that we can uh, add. And these lights will be temporary, but at least we'll have some lights on the base. And let's do that right. Uh, I guess I guess we're not. All right, let's uh, uh, let's go to G and let's do this. We're gonna uh, let's uh, do paint. Make that black. We're not going to complete these. We're just going to use them. Let's uh, rotate. Uh, come on. Rotate around. There we go. Let's put that right there. And let's see if we can get one more up. Probably not. I'm going to have to grab some girders anyway. Let's do grab a few more girders. Just so that we can get a little height here. One of the disadvantages about uh, 
not being able to fly around. There we go. Now we can go ahead and finish putting that one block in and uh, we can uh, change that back to red. Okay. There we go. Now let's uh, all right. Uh, that's where we at here. Come on, where's my slope? There's my. Okay, is that my half slope? That's my half slope. All right, let's put that there. Now let's go back to our light pole. Change that back to black. Not that it really matters. All right. Okay. There we go. Now we've got our light pole set up. Let's do this. Uh, light. We want this. I need to grab some construction. Even though it says it requires a light bulb, it will let you put that up. So I need some construction components. Uh, let's see. Get into my fabricator. Uh, let's see. Inventory. Uh, let's grab about 20 of those. There we go. All right. And uh oh, uh oh, of course, ah, uh, you know what? I put that up backwards. Let's uh. Do Let's do this. Uh, let's take those down. And we need to... We need to turn those around. And I need to... Let's see if this will work. Put it on this away. Uh, I am going to have to... All right, so we'll put a little hinge on there. Just something for it to attach to. Where's it at? Right there. If you're having a problem, uh, so these three little, like, neon tubes down. So if you put that there, that's very unobtrusive. I never complete those. I use that on windows and stuff as well. So let's, uh, now we should be able to put our, let's get the right ones here. Now you can see that uh, we've got that there. Now we should be able to go up here and stick that on top. There we go. Like that. Now we should be able to put our light right there. And let's uh, finish that light. Oh, you are going to make me have a light bulb for that. Oh, son of a gun. And I can't... Well, shoot. Uh, let's it, uh, let me see. Can I make light bulbs? I don't know if I can make light bulbs yet. Let's see what we got here. Let's go to the fabricator. Production. Uh, fabricator. 
it can make lights. See, I don't have glass yet. I can't make, I can't make lights. Is there something? Well, maybe we're not going to have lights on the base just yet. Uh, oh. Let's, uh, actually, let's go to G. Is there... Lights. Corner lights, everything. Everything takes light bulbs. Which would make sense. But... I don't think I can build a glass factory, and that's not a high priority production. Uh, advanced assembler, fabricator, uh, microelectronics. Uh, where is it? Synthetics. Assembling bench. Ceramics. I don't think it's not ceramics, he meant. Auto loop, extruder, assembler. It's one of these chemical. I don't know if it's the chemical plant. Might be the ceramics. But until we can make metal grids. All right, well, that's as far as we're going to get with that. Son of a gun. Well, cross that off the list. We'll save that for later. All right, so... One of the other things that I wanted to do, and I think I can do this, I hope. Uh, I wanted to put a switch for the hydrogen engines. So that we can turn them on and off. I think I currently, actually, I can check those from down here. Uh, let me get into here. And let's check our hydrogen engines. Yeah, I do have them off right now. All right, the one engine anyway. So we're not wasting ice. I did get that ice uh, small cargo... Uh, container all filled with ice or pretty darn close to filled with ice so we have you can see that's pretty close so we're pretty well stockpiled on ice so that we'll have power as we need it like now with the uh, wind turbines just barely turning it's not generating much power at all so let's get that uh, switch in and it's just a matter of where do I want to put it I think probably somewhere over here. Again, this will probably just be a temporary thing. But let's uh, uh, let's maybe just plop it right here. So let's go to G and all blocks. I want control. Or actually a button. And I just want a plain old button panel. Which I'm going to need some aluminum plates. But we'll go ahead and use uh, use what I have. Well, let's change the color on that. I don't like that. Let's make it a yellow. That way we can see it fairly easy. And let's rotate that. Let's put that right there. And let's uh, do this. How many aluminum plates do I have on myself? Uh, I got 14, so I got enough to build that. And let's go over here. Yeah, all right.
Okay, there's that. Now, we should be able to go into here. Hitting F. Uh, we want... Oh, well, we got all blocks. It should have the hydrogen engine. There we go. Uh, we'll have to change this for later anyway. Let's uh, bring it down. And we just want to toggle this block on and off. So, close that. Now, with this, we should be able to hit uh, F. Activation failed. Having a bad day today. Why did that activation fail? Let's try it again. Hmm. All right. Let's uh, let's get in there. The hydrogen engine is off. It should should be going through those tethers. I've done this before because I can turn it on from here, so I know that. So let's go back to the button panel. Let's see, button one. Uh, set up actions. Hydrogen engine. Uh, all right, let's clear, remove from the toolbar. Let's try this again, drop that down. Toggle block on and off. Okay. Well, son of a gun. Uh, well, for now, I guess we just do it the old-fashioned way. Uh, we can use this to turn it on and off. And I'll have to figure out why that's not working. Uh, it is connected. We are connected here with no problem. All right. Well, the next thing I want to do is set up a gravel compressor. We are going to need, at some point, the ability to protect ourselves, and a gravel compressor will allow us to at least make some ammo. So let me do this. Uh, I need to grab more girders. And let's just grab a bunch of them. And we can put, well, aluminum I can't, but these I can put in here. Oh, and it looks like we are full again. So it has stopped processing. Let's, let's grab that. And that's going to keep grinding. We'll put this excess stone and gravel it's going to start pulling a bunch of that in because I'm going to start building out on the base a little bit here. But let's throw this right here. And that should uh, keep building. Let's see. So what I want to do is, is I want to build out this floor. And I want to put my gravel compressor right here. So let me do this. Six. Uh, get the red paint. Okay. Put a block here. Let's get these blocks right there, there, and there. I don't remember how large that gravel compressor is. But I might have to dig this out just a little bit. Yeah, let's uh, just kind of dig this out.
Just a little bit. There we go. All right, let's uh, lay this down. Okay. I think that should be big enough. Let's get another... Sp All right, I'm going to grab a bunch of cement blocks here, and I'm going to build this floor out. And once I get that floor all built out, uh, we'll lay down the gravel compressor. Okay, I think I'm ready to put this uh, gravel compressor in. Let's, uh, uh, let's see, there, here's what it looks like. And I think I want to put it in this way and so it's connected right into the cement uh, factory which it, uh, this will pull gravel out and so again another use for the gravel so let me see I need steel plates so let's let's see what we can grab here oh just a second I gotta clear out these aluminum plates now let's see what we can grab here. All right, we can get that placed right there, and I think that's going to work pretty well because I'll have it'll be piped in right directly through there, which will be perfect. And then I can use piping straight on out here if I want to connect something else. And then, of course, I can get access to it right here. Uh, so, let's uh, let's start building on this thing. And as you can see, we still need quite a bit of stuff. Uh, let's get this done here. Hopefully, we can get this done. I'd like to start working on some base defenses because. I have a feeling that with all these ships going overhead that, uh, alright, I need construction components. Let's check something here. Uh, production, the fabricator, what do we got? And why aren't you making? Probably, I am going to have to. Oh, it needs copper wire. I suppose this is all backed up. It, ah, it should be pulling it in. I'm not sure why it's not. What else is it missing on the fabricator? Uh, fabricator. It needs copper wire. Iron. Let's look at the inventory. It's just All right, well, we'll get this going. I have a feeling that uh, I need to do some tweaking around, maybe some movement every once in a while. I know the copper wire doesn't pull through. So once I get all of my materials for this, and I'm probably gonna have to do some stone mining, I think that's the next thing we're gonna work on after I get this in place. So once I get to that point, I'll see y'all in a little bit. Okay, I uh, am about ready to finish finish this gravel compressor off. Uh, I'm discovering I've got a inventory problem. Oh, I've got my fabricator is just backed up with uh, materials along with some of my other uh, uh, production 
items or production uh, blocks and so I'm gonna have to kind of deal with that as well I might have to build a small cargo container just for some place for the excess materials to go to otherwise I'm gonna have to start pulling things out but let's get this uh, gravel compressor I, I don't have all the steel plates but I got everything else that I can finish building this thing. So the other thing, before I forget, let me clear this out. There we go. All right. So now we can tell this thing here. We want, it's already pulled in gravel. Uh, let's see. We can make small and we can make large. Uh, I think in the control panel, I want to set this up. Uh, let's go with heavy, and let's at least make 50 set, and then for that, we will make 100. I don't know how much, I actually have no idea how much this is going to make, and how much it's going to use, but at least wise it's going to start using some of our gravel and that's going to help with our inventory issues. All right. I see an unknown signal off about a kilometer and a half. I think I'm going to run out there and grab it. So I will, uh, after I get that back, I will catch back up with you all. Okay, I'm back from that uh, unknown signal. I uh, managed to pick up a battery, and I did have another battery out there that I had from earlier, uh, from uh, uh, the other day. So I went ahead and grabbed it as well. So right now I have all of my batteries here. I currently have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I just haven't uh, ground those down. So technically, from what I, what I want to build, I only need one more battery. So maybe we'll, uh, I'll end up getting that today or probably in the next day or so. So, and then we can get started on building that cargo hauler. All right, so let's see. Oh, I also did, I actually did find a light bulb. So we actually do have a light here on the base. Let me do something here. I haven't done it yet. Uh, the light, I need to change my colors. I got a specific s set of colors that I like to use. It uh, gives more of a yellow, and then we need to put this out to a full 20 feet, and then uh, cut the intensity down to about three. There we go. So, that will be when it starts getting dark. We'll at least have some light around this area right here. I actually got one more light bulb, so I'm going to save it. I'm not sure where I want to stick that. Uh, until we can start making glass, we can't put much up in the way of lights at this point. Anyway, so we got the gravel factory or the uh, gravel compressor in, which will allow us to start building some base defenses. Now, one of the things that, we, uh, that I'm going to have to do is I want to put the buggy underground. So, which means I'm going to have to drill out a garage for it. And I'm thinking that if we go over here where this starts elevating up, either somewhere in here or, if we go over here, I think 
maybe into see again I can connect power over to here it's not going to take much so I might actually it'll be a little bit easier if maybe I put this in somewhere over here is where I'm thinking about putting the garage in uh, and I've got an idea on how I'm going to do that so let me kind of show you what I'm thinking and that's going to be actually at some point but we've got to start uh, thinking about that and that might be in the next couple of days so I need to see something here all blocks a projector what's a projector take it takes advanced computers well I guess I get to dig it out by hand uh, I was going to project something in there to where I could just dig out and have a template to to do that but everything takes advanced computers and I can't even get past building metal grids all right well that's that let's see well so let's uh, let's just take a look and see what I got that I can do for base defenses so let's go to block weapons so I've got all of these types of weapons here uh, I can build I can't build that uh, what can I build I can build this light gravel turret I think that's basically a pea shooter and I can build this heavy gravel turret everything else takes additional tech so I'm thinking about putting some pillars out uh, maybe something out about like right here and kind of setting those up around the base so that we will have at least some protection and here's what I am thinking let me get uh, get some girders and I'll kind of give you an idea let's see over here the extruder just uh, oh I got to put all that stuff away yeah let me just grab some girders here and then I'll get that stuff put away hundred of those I also got to work on my inventory issue uh, let's see aluminum scrap goes here other stuff I think I'm putting it all over here uh, that can go there carrots cucumbers tomatoes carrots and then that can stay there okay let's hop out of here all right so I think this knob somewhere about right out and in here we'll build this out of concrete again because it's saving on resources since I have a lot of that this uh, spot right here can see pretty well and we are approximately only a hundred hundred meters from the base so if we put something down a kind of about like this that 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 
that. I usually try to put a battery. I think I can build... Let me see. Uh, let's see. I think alkaline batteries... Or not alkaline batteries. Let's go to power. Power blocks. I think these acid batteries... They're... Uh, have a 75% charging efficiency. So, and we, we can build those. Just takes a lot of uh, materials, but let me go grab a steel plate because I'll put one right in the middle. All right. Boy, I am low on materials. All right, so let's do this. So we can kind of get the basic outline of what I want to do up here. And I'm going to put a few of these around. They'll be self-sufficient. Uh, all right, so we'll put that there. These are going to... I'm going to put heavy turrets on these. And then I am. The plan is to have a smaller defense line of the light, those light turrets that we looked at. So let's uh, uh, let's go to G power acid batteries. That's the seventy-five percent. So we are going to drop right in the center to kind of keep it protected. I'm not sure which way is up and down on these things, but it doesn't really matter. I think we put that like that. We go. And then we go back to our concrete blocks. Uh, and put that right there. Now, what I usually do is then I build up my turrets. Uh, I put them up at least a couple high. Let's see. Let me uh, do that. All right. Actually, we'll put one block there. And then we can put a block there. All right. There. 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 And then there. And then that will give us where we can put this block there. And then we can kind of fill this in. Like that. All right. Now let's... Uh, let's see what that turret takes. Block weapons. That's the light. I want the heavy. All right, I got some steel plates on me. All right, so uh, yeah, it's through the center here. All right, let me kind of get back over here. Come on. Well, I want it to set up in the center. But, all right, we're going to do it like this then, so that you will set up in the center. Let's just throw a concrete block in there, then I can take it out. Now let's go back to the turret. All right, I think that is set up centered. 
Uh, which way do I want that to face? Uh... look at G again. If we look at G, it looks like the compressor I think I think that is how I want that to look. And then that should be facing out that way. And now I should be able to take the center Peace out, I hope. That piece. And that should allow me to access that when I get it built. There should be a, uh, uh, a portal right, right there looking up. So that... Oh, and then one more thing on here. Uh... Let's see, one, do I have, oh, I do have, okay. And then this is gonna be, we're just gonna throw a, like, a windmill here on the side, and it's not gonna take much. Uh, we'll have the battery, and then that windmill should be enough to keep it charged up, because the only thing that will require power is the turret. Anyway, so that's what these are gonna look like. And I'm gonna have, a few of these scattered out. One about right, obviously right here, which is a good spot. Maybe one over on this this hillside over here, one there. I want to have about four or five of these scattered around the edge of the base. And then in between that, we'll have batteries of those light pea shooters that we saw there. So anyway, that's what the base defenses are going to look like. All right. Uh, so that's what we wanted to get started on. The other thing I need to kind of lay out is I've got to start getting something that will dig gravel for me. And what I might end up doing is actually, like I said, I wanted to maybe build my garage down into this hillside. So it might make sense for me to set up my uh, gravel machine, my uh, gravel driller, out here. Anyway, I think I will do that uh, in the next episode, uh, I think what I want to do now is, uh, let's see, start filling out this base, and I'll get this, uh, I'll get this gravel turret all built. So once I get close to finishing up that gravel turret and I have these filled out I will uh, catch back up with you well as you can see I'm getting close to uh, finishing this thing off let's uh, let's see here Make it over here all right let's Oh, it didn't give me all of that. All right, let's uh, let's see if we can get the windmill built. Still need parts for it, and all right, let's see how much of this we can get built. Still need steel plates for that, but that took most of my inventory. All right, let's uh, see what else we can grab. Uh, still need 61 steel plates. Oh, right. Motors. I'll have to build those over there. So, let's, uh, 
Let's go ahead and... Alright, we got that. Oh, and I forgot the uh, battery. I gotta get the parts for the battery. Alright. Alright, well, I thought I was getting close. I still need the steel plates. I gotta build the motors. That needs five. So let me go get those motors built. And let me see what I need for this battery. A lot of stuff. Holy smokes. Well, we will eventually get the battery built. We're not going to worry about it right now. All right. So let me go get uh, the rest of the parts that I need. And when I get close to having that built, I'll uh, get back with you. I think I am about ready to finish off, well, not really finish this off, but at least get the turret in place. I still have to make the battery, but let's see if we can get this turret finished. The uh, windmill is, the wind turbine is done. Uh, basically, it needs a little more this needs a little more steel. And let's, yeah. Since this is a defense, I want to try to have these as built fully as possible. So, we have a turret in place. And I better check something. <laughs> Uh, let's see, I should be able to get to it from down below, yeah, there we go, let's check the control panel on this guy, now those ships never come in, so I want this up to 1,000 meters, uh, Ah, we can turn that off. I don't turn the me meteors on. Target missiles, sure. Small ships, yes. Large ships, yes. Characters, off. Target stations, we can turn that off. Neutrals, off. And, okay. And then we would be able to reach our inventory right here. So we'd be able to fill that up. So this takes heavy ammo. So let's see what the gravel compressor has done. And we have some heavy ammo here. Let's grab that. And so, yeah, it takes an awful lot of gravel. Which is fine. We're going to have a bunch of gravel since we can't seem to find any more resources. But that's a nice looking gun. Alright, let's. And we have ammo in it. Alright. Okay. Well, I think, I think we're getting close to having, being able to call this an episode. We've managed to start laying out our base defenses. We actually did get a light on the base, just by a little bit of luck. Hopefully, maybe some of those uh, unknown signals will give us some more light bulbs. Uh, we got a gravel compressor so that we can make our ammo. We're a long ways off from making regular ammo. And let me turn my light off, and we actually do have a light here on the base. So, uh, making some progress. Even got a little bit of the base built out, uh, at least on the floor. Well, I think that is it, all you space engineers out there. Uh, keep your heads up and Energy keep low. oh perfect timing.
keep your heads up and we will see you all in the next episode. Thanks for watching, everyone.